All right, guys, so uh, we're heading out right now to Culver City. I'm gonna go check out a bus and see if I can buy it. Got autofocus again. So it's a beautiful day today. Uh, we just so happened to look on the Samba and I saw something that I thought would work out good for some uh, rust repair videos for buses. I thought you guys might be interested in some of that. Especially in a the guys mile, turn right onto the ramp east, to California 60 West. Who are trying to build these things. So stay tuned and we'll take a look at the bus uh, first thing when I get there. I'll talk to you guys in the next portion when we get there. All right, so here's the deal. Let's take a look. I ended up buying this thing. So I found this on the Samba. Let's check it out. You guys, uh, it's got a really cool rust on this emblem here. It's a uh, 67. And uh, we're going to do some rust repair videos with this. And it's got, it's got, it's, it doesn't look that bad, but it's actually pretty bad as far as normal rust the bottoms of the doors really pretty rough got floor issues mostly on this side let's look at this over here seatless of course but you know how hard those are to find I know uh, Jason back east is looking for seats for his so we'll be fighting over the same seats right no I'll probably have them made I'll have one of the guys make them. So um, he's had this bus for a little while and just couldn't get to it. It's one of those things, you know, when you got too many projects. So it's got bumpers though, that's just cool. You know, those rear bumpers seem to get rear ended. Let's look at the back rust here. Yeah, it's rusty. Yep. It looks the typical. VW bus rust. Westphalia tin top. Ooh, it's got big nut axles. Look. The, the good old rusty thing here. This is real common. They're always rusted out. You guys that think you're not going to get into rust repair with a bus, you're going to have lots of it. Look at this. Yeah, there's some rust. Yep. Yeah, it's fixable. Isn't everything? It's cool. It's still got the spare tire well. It's probably rusted out though, I bet. I don't know. You haven't looked yet. What do you guys think? Hard to say. Yeah. Uh, is it saveable? Yeah. Maybe. It's got a spare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These go with it too, or no? yeah, you have those. Oh, wow! That's obviously 6667. Yeah, 6667. And then uh, the other cool. ones are four levers. Yeah, you know, somebody needed one of these a little while back. Maybe I'll give it to them. Yeah, that's always... original paint. I mean, but you know, it's, it's obviously cool. patinaed. But yeah, that's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I ended up funny. I I seen this guy at the Sambo. I bought this thing from. So, <laughs> Small at, you know, at at, uh, at Octo, you know, I've seen him there. You with your son, I think. Yeah, yeah so. definitely. But yeah. Every time. Yeah, check that out. So, yeah, this is rust, man. How about that hole? Yeah, it's a good man, one. Man, look at that. Somebody it's patched this good. once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what'd that do? I guess it made it so the door shut, right? I think so. I think before that, they, they were just spearing in up here. Wow. And then this hole. I love the dirt. You know, yeah. it's like, geez. <laughs> And this hole is actually supposed to be there. That's for the sink. Oh, the yeah, yeah, sink. it has the sink. So these are rust. That's factory hole. <laughs> yeah, it's all the interior is gone. But yeah. I, I don't know. It'd be, I think it'd be cool. I might get one of that, that interior from Florida, the guy who makes it, the Repop. Yeah. It's totally different than the original. But, but it's still a good usable interior. Yeah, unless Robert wants it, I, I think I have a feeling he's going to talk me out of this thing before I get it done. Because he's been looking for one forever, and uh, we'll see. Look how bad it is here. There's a little rust everywhere. I'm gonna treat it all. I'll show how to save this bus. Totally savable. Look at the front. It's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty straight. That's the thing I was pretty amazed about. The rust here. We got the vent rust. No, not too bad. It doesn't have the vent rust, but it's got the roof rust right here, which is. It's not going through, I don't think. It's pretty solid. 
this is like solid compared to the ones back east. Still got the electrical outlet. Yeah, that's How about 67 that? only. Usually, yeah. before that, they're on the rear. But oh, yeah, that's 67 right. 67 has the integral backup lights. Yeah, and that's 12 volt. Right there, and it's 12 volt from the factory. Yeah. So that's why this is kind of a special SO42. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. That dog yeah, legs, yeah, dog really legs are pretty. Yeah. yeah, maybe the whole. Yeah, yeah, maybe the whole thing. I'll do the dog leg replacement. I think that'll be, that'll be a good video for some yeah. of you guys to watch. Yeah, finding the seats is always, the the front seat. Are they the same sixty seven only on no, this one no, or the? What's interesting, people don't know is that the front driver seat is the same whether it's walk through or bench. Oh, okay, yeah. on the sixty seven. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Oh wow, it's still got the sticker on it. Yeah. This is let's just check this out. I just saw this, the pearl white. I think it's got to be pearl white, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. L87. It's the. Uh, Check this out. The passenger seat. That's hard to this is what's cool. It's still yeah. got. It still has the pearl white. Yeah, and you can go on the Samba yeah. and you can decode this right down to everything. Uh, A42 yeah. is the type of SO42 it has. So that yeah. means the A42 did not have the pop top. It did not have the tent. Yeah, or no the uh, roof rack it was just plain Jane stripped down very German you know and then everything else is on here 080 that stands for the walkthrough etc yeah the always the hardest part is this passenger seat are just they're just not, not nobody right. has them no. I mean yeah, they don't you don't find them for sale you don't you know yeah, they're if they, like the fridges yeah so what I'll probably end up doing is you know that guy have you met, met Tony before he the makes seat guy? the seats, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll probably have Tony just make one. They're good. They're probably they probably cost me about six hundred bucks for the seat alone, but you know what? It'll have one then, and it'll be brand new. Whereas you could pay mm -hmm. six hundred bucks for a rusted out piece of crap. Yep. Yeah. Tony does a good job making those. So if you guys are looking for that, there's always Tony. Yeah, and this has the later '67 dash. Yeah, it's got the big hole in right. it, and it Where? still has the blank, which yep. is nice. Yeah. Where you That's can actually missing. put a modern radio. Actually, a, that radio is now an antique. <laughs> yeah. They use MP3s or whatever they use now. But wow, you could actually put a modern. Yeah, one you can in put there. a modern radio in there without cutting the dash. And it's got this is nice too because I like these little under dash cell phone. Yeah. Charging. I don't know if this is the right key. What do you guys think? You think it'll be the right key? I don't think it I is. I doubt it. I think one on the ring <laughs> but look at there's I, more. I think one of those is. That'd be very cool if it's got the right key. I'm almost certain one of those is. It, oh, here we go. Here's another one. Look that's at this one. It's one. almost that's it's almost one. petrified into the dash. No, that's the Let's one see. That really? Yeah, you can get this. One oh out. my gosh. Yeah, that, that's the right key. No way. I'm pretty certain. Let's see. You guys, you think it'll fit, you guys? Uh, no. Uh, you know what? It might. It's just so. It needs some oil. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it has the correct stuff here too. The correct knobs. 67 only. Yeah, one of these does, though. I'm telling you. I bet you one does. I'm gonna. And look at this. The floor mat's even. God, it's not terrible. The floor mat's almost clean it up and run it. Yeah, seriously. Usually they're. And look at this. I even actually got a trailer. Tried to get a AAA last night, and uh, they were like, nope. It was like four hours wait to got that here. That's rusty. Yep. Corners are bad. This is normal stuff. But the thing that trips me out is look at the paint. Let's see how this thing cleans up when we get it home. So I was going to set up my camera. Forgot my tripod, so that didn't help. Kind of get the winch set up right now. We're gonna pull it up on the trailer. Yeah, that rim. That's rusty. I don't know what under. I haven't even looked underneath. What do you guys? You guys can look with me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's rusty. It's typical stuff. It's not. It's bad, but it's not that bad. It's kind of got that red heavy rust, but it's not that bad. So it's totally fixable. Let's look at the uh, it has door handles, but they're crap. Look at that. It's wasted. But they're all there, you know? So that's the thing that matters.
I'm gonna get it up there on the trailer in a minute. It's got a little rusty spot in the middle of the roof. It looks kind of ugly. It's got float flow through ventilation right here, right in the corner. Yeah, it's got the whole. Yeah, it's got good uh, engine ventilation, so it won't run hot. That's just crusty in here. Up under here, it's pretty just surface rust. Gonna have to do something with that though to keep this thing from rusting away. So it looks kind of cool being original paint, but <clears throat> it's had a lot of this part here is rusted out. Might have some of that metal. I don't know. This this is the part I'm not sure about. You know how bad that's going to be when we clean it. How much metal is going to be left there? Anyway, we'll we'll get it figured out, assess it, and get you guys back here in a couple days once we get it home, get it unloaded, get it up on the trailer, and take a look at it. All right, so we got it on the trailer. Brought it back to the house here. Let's take a look at it. It looks like actually I thought it was the original paint, but it's actually not. It's actually, if you look in here, um, that is the original paint because this looks too gray. I thought, you know, I don't know what it's protecting. I mean, I don't know what's underneath the original, what the original paint looks like. Um, but uh, it's a, uh, and I can't decide how do we're gonna do this thing yet so let's just let when you guys want to see it so the the rust is pretty extensive i mean that's cool because it'll make some good videos on how to fix this stuff um the dog legs are kind of funky they got holes in them pretty much all the way around on this one some of them i get are worse than others you know it's like and then, uh, looks like they fixed a lot of this with, I don't know, maybe it's beer cans. Here. This is the out, you know, these are always bad. The outrigger here and the uh, uh, jack points are always toast. It's got a lot of little bit of rust here. The, the edges, whenever the floors are bad in the front, there's always a section of this part that's bad. So I usually just make that little section. I cut it up at about about to about right here, and I'll make that. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty rusty. The bottoms of the doors here are pretty wasted, up to almost the hinge, right in here. So it's pretty bad as far as that goes. And the inner door panels, I get these. I always end up having to replace those almost every bus. This is all this insulation garbage. The place. See, what happens is the paint gets off of here and then it just starts rusting be thrusting through then the back sides of here uh, these are pretty solid i've seen buses before i watched a guy pay five grand for a bus and you could take your fingers and just crunch it all through on every one of these i don't think the guy knew what he was buying but you know you got to know what you're buying when you look at these things and you know i know from looking at them how bad they're going to be by just how the condition of it is and I thought this one was okay I'm not saying it was good it's pretty bad but it's not it's not unfixable um, 67 you know this is a cool bus it'll be neat when it's all done this is it's definitely been driven in it I, I'm thinking this thing probably came from Washington doesn't look like it was Midwest. Look at that. Yeah. Those are rusted out. Well, it's that section I usually end up replacing. This one almost always is bad right here. Bottom corners. I'll probably end up making those because everybody wants so much money for them. I don't know. Maybe they've changed because now Wolfsburg West has the mold. These whole corners used to be like 500 bucks for the whole corner. And now they're like 250 I think which I still think is way too much money for just a simple pressed piece of metal you know, if it was a Chevy it'd be half of that this is where some pretty extensive damages is in the inside here but I think uh, once I think it's pretty solid but it just looks bad so uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna wash it up, clean it up, and we'll have another video on this here in a few days, probably. I'll replace this section here. It's that's no good, but it does have bumpers. So the reason I thought this was a fair deal is because it has it's very complete. It has tail lights, uh, turn signals, bumpers. Um, it is missing the headlight buckets, but that I have. Those aren't hard to find. I mean, yeah, you can get a bug one, and they'll work. And that's what I do. I'm not going to buy bus ones. The bus ones are just way too expensive. And the difference is they just have a little drain hole underneath. So the headlight buckets, obviously, you can see, obviously, the guy took all the parts off of it and sold them. You know, he probably couldn't get enough for the bus the way it was. And he figured, well... He get his money back by selling all the interior and selling the seats and selling the other parts. That's kind of usually how it goes. A lot of guys do that. I mean, I don't know. He, he got a nice guy and everything. I'm just saying, you know, hey, if, you, if you're in that situation, you do what you got to do. Um, the rest of it looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, there's some crusties in the corners here. It looks like a lot of that stuff is just surface and not too heavy. So... It's not bad. I don't know about the cargo floors yet. I think they're probably wasted. Because so looking at the outriggers here, are these, I don't know what they're called, it's the support rails or whatever. No, frame looks decent. Not bad. It's savable. So that's a good thing. But if you look here, those outriggers there, that's all wasted. Always wasted. So. And of course, the uh, tube front to rear, that's missing. I actually have that tube. You just buy it in exhaust tube, get the right size, and just cut it to fit. Other one, you can buy the tube at Wolfsburg West, but you're gonna pay a lot more for it. I still have my brake parts for my 66, so maybe I just put those on here for the front brakes. Then it'll have brakes that can stop. I've got an engine sitting around here, I can just throw in it just to move it around. So I'll make it into a runner, and then I'll start cutting this bad boy up. Do a lot of welding videos on this. A lot of them. I'm going to try and get really good shots for you guys to really show you guys how to fix this stuff. And I'll show you different ways to fix things, too. Some guys just all show just butt welding everything, and I'm not going to do it that way. Because it doesn't bring any more money. I'm going to do it daily driver style so that when it's done... So that when it's done, it's not, it doesn't want to go to a museum and sit there. Somebody gets to drive it and have fun with it, you know. Um, but at least it'll help some of you guys that are... I know Jason back east is... He has a 67 Westie. It's not a tin top, but this one is. And, uh, you know, yeah, he's got a lot of the issues that are going to get videos on how to fix it, like this one. And the dash is pretty good. You know, all that stuff's, I'm, I'm thinking I might just do like an outside, I'm not sure, I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Comments, uh, what do you guys think, uh, should I do a complete restoration on this thing and paint it? Or should I do a, I'm thinking maybe a partial, not do the inside, I'm not sure. Because there's a lot, of, but there's a lot of inside that has to be touched up and repaired. Or it's just going to rust itself to the ground. So that's kind of where, you know. It's almost drivable the way it is. I mean, it could be just put together. You know, you could just tell somebody, hey, don't cut yourself on this. <laughs> you know, you could do that. But I don't know. Uh, I think if it doesn't get treated and it doesn't get removed, it's just going to, the rust is going to take this thing to the ground. So. Yep, these corners are pretty bad. We'll see how much though they are. I may end up making them. I, like I said, I can fix those. I can make them. The bumper looks pretty good. It just looks like it's needs the rust removed and treated. I don't know if I'll leave it that way. I don't know. It's kind of cool looking the way it is, but I don't want it to, like I said, I don't want it to rust itself into the ground. I think, without a doubt, I think this is all going to have to get done. I mean, in here... I can't just put an engine in there. It has to get uh, treated and
probably been removed and painted at least in the this area or it's going to be it's going to be a, a, a nightmare for later it's just going to get so bad that I think underneath I'm going to have to definitely treat it remove it and either do something paint it or something so so it's got something to protect it or you know we could always use uh, bar and chain oil now, I'm not saying that doesn't work uh, Busty One loves to use that he's bar and chain oil um, good guy uh, and it's not a bad idea if you're back east, but I don't like it because um, it's too, it's so greasy to work on. And the stuff I use actually adheres really well and stays on. It doesn't get that gap. I'd like to see what's underneath here. Well, I guess stay tuned, come back, and let's see what's under here. You guys want to do that? All right, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Make those comments. Keep them running on. And talk to you in the next one.